Alright, so the problem is to graph x squared minus 5x minus 6 all over x plus 2. So first it would be, you'd have to graph, or off x to the top. So that's x minus 6 and x plus 1 all over x plus 2. So then the x-intercepts would be 6 and negative 1 because you just take the two factors on the top. And the y-intercept would be negative 3 because you would set all the x's equal to 0. Right. And then after that, you would find the vertical asymptote, and that would be x equals negative 2 because you the denominator is x plus 2, so it cannot equal negative 2. And then you find the oblique asymptote by doing synthetic division. And you would have negative 2 into 1, negative 5, and negative 6 with the equation at the top and the denominator. So you do that and end up getting x minus 7 for the equation, y equals x minus 7. No, it's y equals x minus oh. And then you can put all that into your graph. So. First, you can do the x-intercepts at 6 and negative 1. And then, do the vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Okay, what's the horizontal? And then, the horizontal asymptote, or I mean, not horizontal, oblique asymptote at y equals x minus 7. I know, but there is a horizontal. See, it has zero. Yep. What does that tell you about the degree of the top compared to the degree of the bottom? And the y-intercept at top. 0, so negative 3. Okay. So you have... And then, with those points, you can draw your graph. Right? What would that be? Okay. So you have no variable on the top. And since then there's a graph down at the bottom, at point, if you plug in negative 3 for x, you get negative 3, 18. Why? And then graph it. Okay, you could. And that's your problem. What's the x